Almost 700,000 citizens of Russia left the country after the announcement of partial mobilization on September the 21st, the Forbes magazine reports, citing sources close to the Kremlin. Where did the Russians go and do they intend to return? According to one of the popular airline booking companies, one-way tickets are bought to Turkey, Georgia, Israel and the United Arab Emirates. Some of those fleeing the mobilization go to Kazakhstan. Russians can still enter that country without a passport or visa. Kazakhstan's interior minister last week said that more than 200,000 Russians had entered the country since the end of September. Another popular destination for Russians is Armenia. Journalist Kirill Ponomaryov also went there. My sense was that 90% of people in my wagon were Russian men of military age. Everyone looked at each other silently. Everyone understood what was going on. The border guards were ironic. A woman came in and said, Wow, how many men do we have here? I have never seen so many men on this train before. Where are you all going? Everyone said the same thing. I'm going to relatives, to my grandmother, I'm going to friends, I'm going to my girlfriend. To friends, relatives, and not only there. Many Russians live for Georgia. They also do not need a visa to enter this country. According to the Ministry of Internal Affairs of Georgia, about 70 silent Russian citizens arrived in the country after the announcement of the mobilization. One of them is Igor Tichy. The man says he does not want to fight and cut off his family from civilization, remaining to live in Russia. They are taking them all. One after other, I had information that people like me had received their co-op papers. I saw how the co-op papers were being delivered to my apartment building. I didn't want to be checking to see if the co-op papers were for me or someone else in my building. Yes, I don't want to shoot anyone and that's why I'm here. In addition, I feel deep disappointment about my homeland. While leaving their homeland, some Russians immediately declare that they do not intend to return. They publicly burn their passports listening to Ukrainian songs. However, Georgia, Armenia and Kazakhstan most often are only transit points for those fleeing mobilization. Once there, Russians contact the embassies of other countries with requests to leave for Germany, France and other EU countries. But the EU countries have a selective approach to the question of whom to let in and for how long. Member states need to do a very thorough security assessment and if a person could be a security threat or be a threat towards the international relation for some of the member states, this person should not be issued a visa. We also say that we have a lot of Russian citizens that are now leaving Russia because of the mobilization. If a person, a Russian citizen, intends to stay longer than 90 days in the EU, he or she should not be issued a visa. France has already spoken out on the topic of Russian migration. According to Deputy Minister for European Affairs Lawrence Boone, not just draft evaders, but dissidents who fight Putin's regime and fear persecution are welcome in the country. Those who, for various reasons, are not ready to leave Russia are sometimes trying to pay off their service and even mutilate themselves in order not to go to war. According to the data that became known to the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense, a significant part of the men of military age fled abroad to evade mobilization or tried to pay off the draft with money. Individuals self-mutilated themselves, feigned illness and were even willing to receive certificates of unsuitability for the service from the psychiatric departments of hospitals. Hanna Mahler, Deputy Minister of Defense of Ukraine, from a message on Telegram. Meanwhile, in Russia, they call for illegal mobilization even during church services. God did not allow this and will not allow it now if we carry out our spiritual mobilization. Reported by Pavlo Stelmach, Faina Vasilenko, UATV News.